Good morning. It is June 23rd, 2021. This is John Carroll. I'm Eric Sapanik. This is the Gold Spot. Okay, so Monday is going to be a pretty big day, John. Monday the 28th is the day the next phase of Basel III goes into effect. What does that mean? Uh, the banks in Europe have committed to uh, changing the way they do their balance sheets. If they're going to hold 10 tons of gold, for example, they have to actually own 8.5 tons of gold. They can't just have a, a paper IOU on their balance sheet. So that's going to create a, uh, a different dynamic in the market. There's going to be a big, I think, squeeze on liquidity because a lot of these companies are going to be buying a lot of gold. What does that mean for the retail investor, our customer? Okay, well, it, it's got a, a bunch of different implications. Uh, you know, a lot of people are asking us, why isn't silver taking off a lot faster? Yeah. And one of the big reasons for that is that the naked shorts that we've seen are suppressing prices and keeping prices suppressed. But along these types of new regulatory measures for bullion banks, we could very easily see those types of manipulations start to lose their stronghold. And then with all the, you know, with all the people and all the buyers that are out there, we could definitely see prices rise pretty quick. More importantly than that, though, with gold and silver both, supplies are becoming just a lot tighter. Um, and we've been talking about this for some time, and there's just no slowdown in that particular um, area. So, I mean, what have you seen recently uh, with the buyers versus sellers, and how do you think that's affecting our, our supply chains? Well, it has affected the supply chain. The, the availability of, of bullion, the availability of graded coins is starting to really tighten up. Uh, you know, two years ago, we used to have hundreds of coins in our vault. Mm. Uh, eight gold eagles, for example. Last week, we had 24, and we were happy to have them. That's a pretty dramatic squeeze on the supply chain, and I think it's going to continue. Absolutely. I think so, too. All right, that's it for us today. Uh, after this weekend, we're going to have a very interesting Monday, so let's see what happens. Have a good one.